What up? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great today because today is Tuesday, May 12th of 2020. Today on math, we are going to divide now shapes. Just like we did yesterday, yesterday you had to divide a rectangle into two equal parts. Today, you're not doing a rectangle. You can choose any shape you like. You can do a star, you can do a pentagon, a square, triangle, any shape, but you need to divide it into four equal parts. This time has to be four equal parts. Remember the name of the four equal parts? It's called force. And then you're going to label each part of the four equal parts shape. The last part, we're doing word problems. And those word problems are not the same as yesterday. Yesterday we did multiplication word problem. Today we're gonna do it again reviewing division word problems. Okay? And to practice more of, about division, I want you guys to go to Go Math to these pages, page 406 and page 408. Those pages will help you understand what is division. And where we're dividing, we're just sharing, we're just putting into smaller equal groups. Like say, for example, you have 10 cookies, then you're going to divide 10 cookies into five groups. Each group will have only two cookies. Okay, that's how you divide into groups, equally sharing. You will practice that more on GoMath. This will be all for today. Let's continue with the class. Okay, guys? Let's review the vocabulary words that we learned yesterday about shapes. Shapes in Spanish is figuras. Equal parts is partes iguales. Half means medio mitad. And this is the number form, the standard form of one half, un medio. Then we have force. Cuartos means one fourth, un cuarto. Eighth, octavo, one eighth, un octavo. Esta parte es muy importante porque son las vocabularios que utilizamos cuando dividimos las partes iguales. This part is very important because these are the vocabulary words that we use when we divide in equal parts the shapes. We have one half, un medio, one fourth, un cuarto, one eighth, un octavo. Just remember this word because these are the ones that you need to label on your shapes. You're going to draw me a shape, una figura, but we, you need to do different thing from yesterday because yesterday we had two equal parts. Today we need to do four equal parts. I'm going to do the rectangle, el rectángulo. So I'm going to draw my rectangle. And I'm going to divide it into four equal parts. Remember, yesterday you divided into two equal parts. For example, yesterday you did something like this, some of you, and you wrote one half, right? On each part, one half. Ayer hicimos esto. Hoy, no estamos haciendo dos partes. Today we're doing four equal parts. So that means that today we need to add more parts. So if I want to do four equal parts, one line in the middle right here, then I have one fourth in palabras. Another way you can say one fourth is one quarter. In, in standard form, it goes like this, one fourth, one quarter. And I want you to do this same thing, but with different shapes. You can do a triangle if you find it easy. You can do a circle. You can do a pentagon. You can do an hexagon if you want to. You can do a square. Or you can do an, an octagon. But when you do your shape, remember to write the label each part. And tell me, please, the name of the shape. And please tell me, Spanish and English, both names. 
of your shape. So I can see if you know and learn both names. This is the word problem for today. I'm going to read it and while I'm reading it, I'm going to be doing cubes. So let's start now. Laura has 18 brace, 18 beads to make bracelet. So we're talking about Laura. And Laura has 18 bits to make bracelet. Remember about the bracelet from last week? All of these toys represent a bead. And I have here 18 beads. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 beads. She needs three beads to make each bracelet. Así que cada pulsera va a tener tres de esto. Aquí hay 18, pero cada pulsera va a tener solamente tres. The question is, how many bracelets can she make? So if we do this, this is a division, and the number sentence should go like this. How many beads do we have? We have 18 beads. 18 beads. And we're going to divide 18 into how many beads? Three beads. And the question is, how many bracelet does Laura has? Así que estos 18 los voy a dividir en grupos de tres. Y esos grupos de tres me van a decir a mí cuántas pulseras tiene Laura. Let's do the work. I have here 18 bids, and I'm going to divide those bids with three bids. And I'm going to find how many bracelet does Laura has in the end. So I'm going to do 18 divided by three. I have 18 here, I'm going to divide it by three. So if I do the part per whole, it will look something like this. Now, let's put all 18 bits on the top here. Because this is the hole. This is the hole. In the hole, I have 18 bits. And I'm going to divide by three. I'm not doing three parts. I'm going to put on each part three bracelet. Sorry, three bits. En cada parte voy a poner three, tres juguetes que representan bits. So, I have... 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I have 18 beads. Let's divide into groups of three. I'm going to share, going to give on every group three beads. I have one, two, three. This is one bracelet. One, two, three. This is another bracelet. Remember, we're dividing 18, dividing by 3. Division is like sharing. When you divide, you're going to do equal groups of the whole number. Three more. I have three more right here. I need to do three more. I have one, two, three. Three more. One, two, three. And three more. One, two, and three. So, as you can see, I did, I did not add more toys, so I am not adding. I did not took away toys. I All I did, I divided into groups. These are the groups that represent the bracelet. We have 18 bids in all, and we divided into groups of three. The question is, how many bracelet? Quantos grupos hay aquí? We have, let me use another color. Use red. So we have one group here. We have, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So how many bracelets uh, with three um, beads 
did Laura have or did she make? She made six bracelets, okay? With 18 beads, with three beads per bracelet, she has six bracelets. Very good. You're going to do the same thing with this number. I have here, Laura has 20 beads to make bracelet. She needs five beads to make each bracelet. How many bracelets can she make? Remember to do the part, part, whole, okay? And remember to divide into the, this amount of parts, okay? This will be all for today. Please do your best, enjoy, and I will see